Hello everybody and welcome back to another shoe review. We are going to be reviewing the Bread Toe Jordan 1. And um, before we actually start the Bread Toe review, you guys already know it, we do the smell test. Alright, so before we talk about appearance at all, what we actually like to talk about on this channel is um, the smell test. And, um, you know, it might seem foreign to some of you, but for the rest of you on the channel, come on. You already know what's up. So let's, let's give it the smell test, alright? You guys ready? This is a good one, guys. You know what? I'm actually going to pause the video, and um, I'm just going to appreciate the scent of this just for um, perhaps a couple more hours, and I'll catch you guys next time. With that, I'm out of here. Bing, bang, bing, bing, bing. Evidently, the smell is just its phenomenal. It's beyond belief. I got a couple of shoes this month, and we did the smell test. We performed it, and you know, they smelled pretty good, but I got to say, guys, these bread toes... They smell spectacular. Uh, you guys might think I'm a little weird if you happen to be new on this channel, but um, with the smell test out of the way, why don't we start talking about the shoe's appearance? Let's talk about some aesthetics on the shoe. So if you guys were unaware, this is an OG silhouette. However, it is not an OG colorway. By original silhouette, what I mean is that we have those beautiful Jordan wings on there. We have the Nike Air at the top of the tongue. And, like, like, what I love the most is that we don't have that jump man on the back. Now, no hate against the jump man. I just personally think it looks really awkward on ones. Um, I think it, it looks fine on threes and fours, but on the back of a Jordan 1, I think it's just much nicer if you just leave it blank. So, regarding the color, um, it's essentially the same as the black toe Jordan 1s. Now, obviously, instead of having a white toe box, instead of the white, you have a blue toe box, as you guys can see. So, as you guys can see, this shoe is very reminiscent of the black toes. You have that red heel cup, you have the red neck on the shoe, you also have that white mid panel, and we are going to be talking about some very minuscule changes. And, of course, you have the black lining going around the entire upper of the shoe. You also have that beautiful black swoosh. The black swoosh is not tumbled leather, but don't worry. We'll get into the quality, we'll talk all about it, don't worry. So now I essentially just wanted to talk about some of the obvious changes compared to the Black Toes, and of course I also wanted to mention some subtle changes that, you know, the average person might not pick up unless they're comparing it in hand to the Black Toes, but I feel like it's just some stuff worth mentioning. Obviously, like I said previously, this is no longer white, this is now blue. In addition, another thing that I feel like a lot of people have forgotten, the tongue has actually changed color. In addition to it being black, the writing on the Nike patch is red. Another thing that you won't be able to notice unless you have another Jordan 1 in hand, it doesn't even have to be the black toes, but anything with a just a color white on it, you will notice that not only the mid panel, but the mid sole as well, it is an off-white colorway, and it is really evident in person. Now, you could still match white with it, obviously. If you probably wouldn't be able to tell too much, but if you compare this side-by-side -side to, I'll, I'll compare it to my regular Bread Jordan 1s, you can see that the Bread Jordan 1s look like an icy white, like a pure white, in comparison to these, which look like an off-white, very, like, creamish. Furthermore, one other thing that some people might not pick up, if you look on the insole, instead of having a white insole like you have on the black toes with black writing, on this pair, the bread toes, you have a black insole and the writing is actually in red. So with all the aesthetics of the shoe completely out of the way, uh, why don't we talk about the quality of the shoe? Because there's been tons of controversy over the quality of the shoe. So one thing I'd like to mention right off the bat is that people have been saying that these are not shattered backboard quality. And to be quite honest with you guys, I don't really care. I mean, I've never felt shattered backboard shoes in hand. So, I mean, maybe I'm not one to speak for them, but I have to say, guys, I don't care if they don't square up to the shattered backboards. I'm going to be 100% honest with you right now. This quality and the craftsmanship of this shoe is just spectacular. First of all, it's they didn't stamp tumbled leather on this shoe like they do on a lot of Jordans. 
it, it doesn't even look like they tried to make it tumbled at all. However, if you press your fingers down on it, you will see that it does spider web. And as it spider webs, the tumbled leather does become very evident. So clearly, guys, as you feel how soft it is, this is just some excellent quality leather. And it doesn't stop right there. You move over to the mid panel, and the mid panel is tumbled leather as well. Now, I was comparing these before to the Bread Jordan 1s, and the Bread Jordan 1s have excellent quality too. I, I love the Bread quality Jordans. i just like to conclude with saying, okay, so maybe they're not shattered backboard quality, but to me, it doesn't matter. This is just excellent quality, excellent smell, excellent aesthetics, and it's not too hard to rock because it is a black, white, and red Jordan 1. Why don't we jump to the on-foot portion of the video? Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys sitting through my pathetic comedic endeavors. I know they're not funny at all, but you know, I'm I'm trying my best, guys, and um, feel free to subscribe to join this awesome community. I don't just do these uh, shoe reviews. I also do how to cop guides for getting these shoes. If you haven't seen my previous video, I made it uh, very clear how you could get your hands on any single Jordan you could ever want. So yeah, uh, that's how I'm going to conclude the video. Hopefully we ended on a good note. Hopefully you didn't palm your face the entire time. Uh, hopefully the cringe wasn't too, too strong. And um, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys later. Have a, have a fantastic day. You always tell me where you should be starting. Using your shoe like a size 12 weapon. Get your foot off my foot. Ah! Get your foot off my foot. Yeah! Now I can't run and I can't walk. You hit me so hard, I don't want to talk. Get your foot off my foot. Ah!